So good morning, welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. This is day 11 of love. So fall in love with taking care of yourself. Yeah, I like that this morning. Um, so check in with how you feel this morning. The feeling tones, felt sense of you. What's the most obvious thing in wellness in your body right now? And what self-care are you practicing? So you're here, which is amazing. Maybe you're doing other things, you know? Maybe just mark the things that you do for yourself, the actions, the intentions, the self-care you practice. We're all doing it. Maybe just bring it out a bit into the light. Notice what you do, how you tend to yourself. How beautiful. So come stand on your mat, come, come. Standing on your mat and just bring your hands to your hips and roll into your hips. And then roll in the other direction. Nice, lean your hips one way. And lean your hips the other way. Just feel that, that leaning into, falling into, connecting into the sides of your hips. For me, this is always like a bit groany. Oh, always feels a little bit achy. Good, but achy. Nice, from here, bring your fingers so that they point towards the side of your head. Side bend towards the left, and then reach your left arm down, right arm over, back to center. Drop your right hand down, your left hand over. Have your feet a little bit wider, maybe, as you lengthen side body. Just feeling that. How do you sense your side body? So I got the most beautiful text yesterday, all the way from America. <laughs> and yeah, somebody was saying that the last week when I said, just turn up and do what you can. You know, it's really important that you don't expect that you're gonna be 100%. Just, well, you are 100%, hold on. You are 100%, even though you can't do the movements. That's not what 100% is. 100% is turning up with integrity and doing 100% health. What does that look like in your body? Not how do you force yourself into shapes that aren't good for you. So turn your toes towards the left and then bring your right elbow down towards your left knee. Turn your toes towards the right and bring your left elbow down towards your right knee. So just turn from side to side. I'm reaching my, when I go to the left, I reach my left hand behind me or I pull it back into lawnmower. Maybe you try and bring your elbow down towards your ankle. Maybe you go a bit deeper with this one. Maybe you just stay near the knee. Finding your wellness, finding the shape of your wellness today. You know, what is wholesome for you? Maybe touching your ankle with your elbow is wholesome for you. Maybe it's not. Nice, come back to center. Cool, bring your hands to your knees, sit deeply down into your hips. And then bring your hands to the floor. Nice, pull your right elbow back, lawn more. Hands to the floor, pull your left elbow back, lawn more. Floor, elbow back, floor. Maybe turn your head as your elbow goes back. What is wellness for you as you do this movement? And then pause. So you're pushing down into your feet, you're lengthening back through the elbow, your torso is strong and long, so from my hips to the top of my head, I'm creating length. And breath is in the belly. Change. Other hand to the floor, pull your elbow back, pause. Nice. Bend both elbows, both elbows to your knees. And then reach your right hand across over towards the left. And I'm stretching into the right leg as I reach the arm that reaches over, you straighten into that leg. Just feel that. How do you lengthen? 
lengthen. I want to bring my feet a bit wider. I feel like I want to go a bit deeper, but find your expression of wellness. Next time you go to the right, pause. You can look up towards the ceiling if you wish. Right elbow is really pushing down. Left hand is long and strong. Left leg, I'm anchoring down through the left leg as I reach deeply through the left arm. Nice, other side. Over towards the left with your right arm. The right leg is super straight. Left elbow is on your knee. I'm finding length through the right side of my body. Nice, coming all the way back. So from here, turn your toes towards the right side of your mat. Bring your left hand down and either keep your back leg straight or drop your left knee to the floor. Pull your right elbow back and then reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. So either your left leg is straight or your left knee is bent. Both are awesome. Nice. Bend your elbow, drop your left knee to the floor. Imagine you can bring your right elbow to the floor. Pull your right elbow up, reach your hand up. Elbow to the floor. Mm, reverse up. Last time. Floor. Up. Nice. Hands both sides of that right foot. Stretch out through the right leg. Bend your knee. So that sentence or that phrase or the quote at the front of the class, you know, fall in love with self-care, you know. So right now, how would you get really excited about the expression of wellness and cultivating wellness? Rather than excited about flexibility or excited about progress, which actually is an external goal, it's more how do you, not that progress is the internal goal, but the, how do you really deepen into that sense of self-care is now. Every time you move, you're practicing self-care. Cool. Lift your back knee off the floor and then turn all the way over towards the left hand side of your mat. Bring your right hand down. Either bring your right knee down as well or keep your right leg straight. Pull your left elbow back and reach your left hand up towards the ceiling. So self-care on this side, what does it look like? It should feel really good. There should be no agony anywhere. There should be wellness. So edit, adjust, change, adapt. Be you. It's so awesome. There's space for you in this. Drop your back knee to the floor. Bring your left elbow down. And reach your hand up, elbow down, and up, down, and up, pause there, cool. Hands either side of that front foot, stretch out through the front leg, bend your knee. What does self-care look like now? What does wellness look like now in this movement? Maybe you have to adapt. Maybe your knee is not on the floor at all. Maybe you're sitting in a chair, you know? So like, what is your version of this? Find your movement, find your wellness, be you. Nice, lift, come back to center. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Your feet all the way in, rolling all the way up. Hands to your hips, roll into your hips. And then roll in the other direction. Nice. Lean right. So much easier. Lean left. So much easier. That's amazing. So the one thing, actually, I think about it yesterday. So stand with your feet hip distance apart. And so we're going to look at a squat. Okay. So bring your hands forward and bend your knees a tiny bit. So this is a squat. If you've got a sore knee, this is a squat that is just so beautiful because you're building strength and resilience. 
straighten your leg. If your legs feel strong, go a little bit deeper. This is also a squat. Amazing. Come all the way back up. Go down to your wellness, whatever that is. Find your distance of your squat in wellness in this moment. And then come back up. So what is your squat? Like, where do you sit to in wellness? Squeeze your bum when you're all the way up. What is the expression of your legs, of your hips, of your lower back, of your pelvis? And it's not the outside we're looking at. It's the deep inner feeling of wellness. Nice. It's the same thing with the next movement. Find your version. So bring your feet wide. So there's like a gray. This just gets harder and harder and harder every time you add something to it. So reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. And then bend your left knee, bring your left hand to your left knee and bring your right elbow down towards the left knee. Rise up, tall. Again, elbow down to your knee. Tall. Maybe that's enough for you. Or maybe you try and bring your elbow down to your ankle. Listening. Elbow down to your ankle. My, it's not touching the ankle, but it's down in that direction. Maybe you decide that you want to sit your bum down onto the floor. <laughs> Be careful with this one. So, because when you're down, you have to come back up again. So for me on this side, I always help my leg come back up. So I lean forward, push into the floor, rise up, reach your right hand up. So find your version. What is the version of this that you do? Maybe your elbow to your knee. Maybe your elbow to your ankle. Maybe you're trying to sit your bum down onto the floor and come back up. One last time. So often I hesitate in giving these really strong versions because the gung ho guys out there, you know who you are, tend to over push and overextend. So did you mind yourself? Or did you go for the end goal? Notice what you did. <laughs> Note, reach your left hand up, bring your right hand to your thigh, bring your elbow down to your knee. Did I say right hand up? Sorry, left hand up. <laughs> left hand up, it's your left elbow that's traveling now. So maybe stay with your elbow coming in the direction of your knee. Maybe come down so your elbow comes down in the direction of your ankle. Listening to wellness. Really sensing how do I gauge the ability of my legs, of my knees, of my hips. Maybe you sit your bum down. And then come back up. Left hand up. Down. And up, left hand up, one more time, down, elbow down to your knee, elbow down to your ankle, elbow bum all the way down to the floor. <laughs> nice, stand forward to the front of your mat and just roll your shoulders. Check in with your body. In wellness, did you maintain that integrity of your body? Nice, reach your arms wide, reaching up, looking up. And then keep your torso up, reach your hands behind you, interlock your fingers and lean your chest forward as you straighten through your arms. Nice, release. Reach your arms up. And then bring your hands behind you, straighten through your arms. Maybe you're holding on to your elbows. Maybe you're holding on to your hands. Maybe your palms are coming together. One more time, back, reach, and up. Nice, come all the way down and just step back into your downward dog. Lengthen back through your legs, pull back through your heels. Bending one knee, bending the other knee, bending both knees, stretching through both legs.
Nice. Come up onto your toes. Draw your heels back. Toes. Draw your heels back. Toes. And draw your heels back. Keep your toes standing and sit your bum back towards your heels. So now I'm kind of, my soles of my feet are stretching deeply because my toes are standing and I'm drawing my bum back towards my heels. Bring your toes to flat, sit your bum down. And bring your toes to stand, boom, bring your bum down. Squish your feet one way. Squish your feet in the other way. One more time in each direction. Flat and tucked. Super cool. Come into your cat pose. Hands are underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath your hips. Lift your right knee out to the side, straight out to the side. And then bring your knee down behind the left knee. Sit your bum back, look back over the left shoulder. So I feel like I squish deeply into the side of my hip there, side of my waist. So yum. Um, bring your knee out to the side. And bring your knee behind you. Sit your bum back. Knee out to the side. Again, you might be doing this in a chair and finding a way to do this movement. There's no right way. It's like, how would you interpret this? Think of it as interpretive, creative dance that you're doing. Like, how would you dance this in your body? One last time. Side. Sit your bum back. After last week, oh, we did this on Monday, I think it was. Monday, yes, Monday. Bring your left knee out to the side. Behind, sit your bum back, look over your right shoulder. Somebody said that they're really glad it wasn't on Zoom, that the shapes they had to make to stay well. And I'm like, oh God, it's so awesome. It's just so amazing. Oh, out to the side, sorry, I was bringing it to the elbow. Uh, sit your bum back. Out to the side. Knee behind. Cool. Like we did last for the day. Stretch your right leg straight out to the side. Foot is on the floor. Just begin by bending your right knee. And so it's like I lean sideways to the right as I do that. Bend the right knee. One more time, bend the right knee. Cool, now begin to fling your leg. So lift your leg up and then swing it behind you and around the corner. And then all the way forward, as far forward as it'll go. So what's the biggest range that your leg can travel in? And I'm letting my head look at my foot at the end of the range. It counterbalances the movement. One more time. Super cool. Left leg out to the side. Begin by bending your knee. And back up to center. <clears throat> Tanya from South Africa was saying that she also was shouting at the camera on Monday. <laughs> Bend your knee. One more time. Bend your knee. Cool. Swing your leg forward and around the corner. Forward. Corner. Forward corner one more time forward corner cool come sit on your mat all the way down legs are long bum is on the floor bend your right knee hug it in and then bring your right foot so it's at a 45 degree angle pointing out towards the right bring your left hand to the floor and reach your right hand down towards your left foot drop your forehead down Pull your elbow back into wing, sitting up tall. And then reach forward towards your left foot. Head drops down, wing. Forward. Each time you go a little bit deeper, leaning into it, forward. Back, next time you travel, stay down. All the way forward, forehead drops down.
Nice. Come all the way up. Other side. Draw your left knee up towards you. Step the left foot out to the side at a 45 degree angle. Bring the right hand to the floor. Reach your left hand down towards your right foot. And then pull your elbow back into wing. Forward. Wing. Forward. Wing. Next time you go, you can pause there. So either hold on to your foot if you wish, or just keep reaching. Forehead comes down. And come all the way back. So come lie on your back, all the way down. And just ever so slightly rock your knees a little bit, tiny bit left, tiny bit right. And do that until it feels like it grabs your belly in wellness and that it connects the sense of legs to belly to torso. It's just slight rocking from side to side. Maybe unpack your shoulders so that you feel more of your shoulder on the floor. Tuck your chin in. Maybe make the movement a little bit bigger. But still, you're following that sense of as I drop my knees, my belly follows. There is a sense of connecting, breathing, deepening. Nice. And then come to center. Have a slight smile on your face. Soften into your chest. Feel down into your belly. Feel your feet, maybe even wiggle your toes so you feel your feet clearly. Wiggle your eyebrows. It's always a good thing. And then rest. So just pause there and rest on the floor. Stay just for a minute or so. Maybe you'll stay for a minute and a half so that you listen to the music. Um, so see what you need, see what you do, but do rest for another few moments. Um, maybe super delicious, delicious, yum, awesome, amazing. Um, so yeah, the, I'm just going to get my pictures up here. Um, thanks to those of you who contribute as always, very amazing. And uh, thanks to Sinead. Sinead is in the office and she just runs, runs this ship amazingly. It's amazing. Um, so 10 euros for the month. Um, there's no yoga May 20, 21, 22, 23. So that's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday next week, like 10 days time. And, um, today's day 11, which is really amazing. God, it's just trundling along this awesome love thing. Um, so fall in love with taking care of yourself. Um, the quote for today, which is really sweet. Hold on. I like it. I like it a lot. So see you all tomorrow. Keep attending to and deepening into all that is you. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.